Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about using if statements in Python. Now, if statements are a special structure in Python where we can actually help our programs to make decisions. So by using an if statement, I could execute certain code when certain conditions are true, and I could execute other code when other conditions are true. So basically, if statements allow our programs to respond to the input that they're given. So depending on the data that we're using in the program, our programs will be able to respond. So when certain data is certain values, we can do certain things. And when other data is other values, we can do other things. So it, you know, your programs are essentially becoming a lot smarter. And actually, if statements are things that we as human beings deal with every day. So, you know, as you go throughout your day, generally you're dealing with if statements all the time. So I want to kind of give you guys a brief introduction into if statements and we'll talk about some of the common if statements that you'd see in everyday life. And then we'll go ahead and do a really awesome example to kind of like show you guys what if statements can do for us. So over here in my text editor, I just have this little text file and in here I wrote out a bunch of if statements that a lot of people will encounter on a daily basis. So here's the first one. It says, I wake up, if I'm hungry, I eat breakfast. And so let's break this down a little bit. Up here it says, if I'm hungry, and this is a condition, right? This is either going to be true or it's going to be false, right? If it's true, I'm going to go ahead and eat breakfast, right? If it's false, I'm just going to skip whatever was in here and move on, right? So that's the basics of an if statement, right? We have a condition in this case, if I'm hungry, if the condition's true, then we do the action. So we eat breakfast. Otherwise we just skip it. So down here we have another one. It says, I leave my house. If it's cloudy, I bring an umbrella. Otherwise I bring sunglasses. And so this one is a little bit more complex than the one we just looked at. You'll see we have our condition, right? It says, if it's cloudy, if that condition's true, we're going to bring the umbrella. But in this case, if the condition's false, there's something else that we want to do. So in the case up here, if this condition was false, we just moved on. But now if this condition's false, then we're going to go ahead and bring sunglasses. So that's another example of an if statement. It's a little bit more complex. Finally, I have one more down here, and this one's even more complex. It says, I'm at a restaurant. If I want meat, I order a steak. So if this condition's true, we order the steak. But if this condition is false, then we're going to move on and we're actually going to check another condition. So I'm going to say, otherwise, if I want pasta, I order spaghetti and meatballs. This is another condition. If this condition's true, we get the spaghetti. If it's not true, then finally we're going to move on down here and we'll just default to ordering the salad. So all three of these if statements are valid if statements. It's just they get more and more complex as we go down the list. So hopefully that's, you know, can kind of wrap your head around what if statements are. We're basically specifying conditions. If those conditions are true, we're going to do certain things. And if those conditions are false, we can do other things or we can check other conditions. All right, so let's head over to our Python file and we'll start writing some actual Python. So in here in my app.python file, I want to create an if statement. And I'm going to show you guys a very basic if statement in this tutorial. And then in the next tutorial, we're going to look at some more uh, advanced if statements. And so what I want to do is create a Boolean variable. So I'm going to create a Boolean variable that's going to store whether or not the user is a male. So it's just going to be called is underscore male. And I'm going to set this equal to true because I'm a male. So we have this Boolean variable, right? And right now we have it set equal to true. I can actually use an if statement to check to see what the value of this variable is. And if it's true, I can do something. So if I want to use an if statement, all I have to do is just type out if, and then I just need to type out a condition. So basically I would have to type out like, uh, something that's going to be true or false. Like, for example, in the other page, we were specifying like if I'm hungry or if it's cloudy here, we're just going to check to see if is male. So in other words, if the person is male. And so remember, this has to be a like it has to be able to be reducible to a true or a false value. So in our case, we're just using a Boolean because that's like the easiest thing we can do. 
So I said if, I specified my true or false condition, and now I wanna just type a colon. And what I wanna do now is make a new line. And so anything that I put below this with an indentation is actually going to be executed when that condition's true. So I could put print, and down here I could just put you are a male. And now you'll see what happens when I run this program it's gonna go down here and it's gonna say, you are a male. But if I changed is male to false, so instead of this being true, I just change it to false, now all of a sudden it's not gonna print anything. So it's just gonna be blank down here. That's because this condition wasn't true. So anything that I put below this if declaration and that has an indentation like that is going to be executed when the if statement is true. We can also use another keyword in Python, which is called else. And else is basically gonna be like otherwise. So you remember uh, before we said, if it's cloudy, I'll bring an umbrella. Otherwise, I'll bring sunglasses. Well, this is gonna be like our otherwise. So I can say down here, else. And now anything that I put below else is gonna get printed out when that condition isn't true. So why don't we just put, you are not a male. So now, we're able to cover both of the situations for this variable. If it's false, we can cover that situation. So it says, you are not a male. If it's true, we can cover that situation as well. So it'll say, you are a male. So that's pretty cool. But we can also make these more complex. And actually, before I talk about that, you can put as much code as you want inside of an if statement. So I could have like, you know, dozens of lines of code if I wanted. Um, I'm just giving you guys a very simple example. So why don't we make this more complex and I'm gonna add another variable into the mix. So I'm gonna add another, you know, Boolean attribute into this mix. I'm gonna make another variable called is tall. And we're gonna set this equal to true as well. So now I have two variables in the mix. Let's say I wanted to write an if statement that will check both of those variables. So I could write an if statement that's like, if they're male and they're tall, or if they're male and they're not tall, or if they're not male and they're tall, like I could write out a bunch of if statements to check the combination of these variables. And so the way I can do that is by using one of two keywords. So the first keyword I wanna show you guys is the or keyword. So I can come over here and I can say if is male or is underscore tall. And what this is basically gonna do is it's gonna say if the person is either male or if they're tall, then we want to do something. So this is only gonna be true when one of these values is true, when one or both of those values is true. So down here we could actually put instead of you are a male, we could put you are a male or tall or both. That's gonna be more appropriate. And then down here, we would say, you are neither male nor tall. And that's because if we execute the code inside of this else, that means that both of these guys are false, right? So I'm saying if they're male or they're tall, we're gonna execute whatever is in here. Otherwise, that means they're neither male nor tall. We're just gonna execute this down here. So let me show you guys how this works. I'll click play. And these are both true, so it's gonna say, you are a male or tall or both. If I was to set one of these to false, so let's set is male equal to false. Now, it's still gonna say you are a male or tall or both. But if I set them both equal to false, now it's going to say you're neither male nor tall. So that's kind of the basics of using the or operator. And there's another operator we can use which is called and. And basically it's similar to or, except both of these conditions have to be true. So this is basically saying if the person is male and they're also tall, then we're gonna execute whatever's in here. So we could actually change this text to say, you are a tall male, because we know for a fact that if this is getting executed, they're both male and tall. We can also change this print statement down here. This could say you are either not male or not tall or both. So you can see it's basically just saying that you're either not one of them or you're not both of them. So 
We click the play button and you'll see because they're both false, it's gonna say you are either not male or not tall or both. But if I make them both true, now it's gonna say you are a tall male. If I was gonna make one of these false though, so let's make is tall false. Now it's not gonna execute this first print statement, it's gonna execute the one inside of the else. So to say you are either not male or not tall or both. So that's the basics of and and or, and you'll, you'll be using those a lot um, as you use your if statements. But there's actually one more uh, thing we can do. We can add in some more conditions. So up here I'm checking if they're male and they're tall, but what if I wanted to check if they're male and they're not tall? So if they're like a short male. I can use another keyword in Python called elsif, or really it's just typed out E-L-I-F. And it stands for else if. And after this, we can put another condition. So over here, I'm gonna to check to see if they're male and they're not tall. So I'm gonna say else if male is male. And now I can type in not tall. And the way I can do that is by saying not and open and close parentheses and saying is tall. And basically when I use this not function, it's going to negate whatever is inside of here. So if this was true, it's gonna make it false. And if this was false, it's gonna make it true. So basically that'll tell us whether or not they're tall. And then I'm gonna use a colon. And now down here, inside of here, we're basically just gonna type out any of the code that we want to happen when this condition's true. So down here we can just print out, you are a short male. And there's actually one more condition that we'd wanna check for, which would be if they're not male and they're tall. So we can make one more else if, and I'm actually just gonna copy this guy and we'll paste it down here. And so I wanna say if not is male and is tall. So now we're checking to see if they're male and, or if they're not male and they're tall. So here we could say, you are a, you are not a male, but are tall. So essentially here we have an if statement that's gonna cover every single condition for these two variables. So in every single situation of the two values of these variables, we're gonna be able to print something out for it. So if I made both of these true, it's basically gonna tell us you are a tall male. If I make is male false, it's gonna tell us you are not a male, but are tall. If I made is male true and is tall false, then it's gonna tell us you are a short male. And if I made both of these false, it's gonna tell us you are either not male or not tall or both. And actually we need to change this. So this should say you are not a male and not tall. So that would be a better printout for that situation. So. You can basically see how we can use ifs, else ifs, and else in order to help our program to make decisions and really to respond to the different data in our programs. So I'm able to respond to every combination of the values for these two variables. And that's really cool. So in this example, we were just using simple Boolean variables, but in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually use something called comparison operators. So we could compare like two numbers or two strings and we could use those as our conditions. But for now, I think this is a good introduction into if statements. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.